Welcome to this demo. In this short demo, I will show you how the TTS Learning and Support Solution can support end users with the use of SAP S4 HANA at the moment they needed it the most. The moment when they apply their skills and knowledge during their job. In this specific scenario, we will follow Ben. Ben is an account manager at the company. And a few weeks ago, he took a course on SAP S4 HANA in combination with the Fiori interface and is now ready to take what he has learned into practice. Now he's back at his desk, and now he's about to create an actual new sales order in the system. But since the training took place some time ago, he could use some help with that. The TTS Quick Access, also known as the Orange, offers a solution. As you can see, SAP S4 HANA using the Fiori interface is already launched. During the introduction training, Ben was told that whenever he's in need of support or guidance, he simply needs to click the orange in the Windows system tray. The quick access window opens and immediately shows all the relevant support content in the context of the active window. The content of the quick access window is divided into different categories of support. It provides Ben as a user exactly enough information to complete the desired tasks. It's up to him to decide what level of support he needs. Since Ben does not need any help at this time, he can close the window and open it again at any time at the moment of need. But for the purpose of this demo, we'll leave the quick access window open. Let's see how Ben can be supported in his task of creating a new sales order. From the course, he remembers that he does this from the Create Sales Order tab. Please note that when Ben navigates to another screen within SAP, the content of the Quick Access window adapts to the current context. Ben now decides that he could use some help. In this first example, Ben opens a step-by-step -step instruction for creating a sales order. The visual support indicates where in the application the steps should be executed. And with the application and the instruction both on the screen, Ben can perform the steps in the actual application at his own pace. Ben returns to the overview of relevant topics. In the second example, Ben opens more detailed information on the same subject. In addition, all types of documentation can be ordered contextually. In this example, he has access to an overview of the sales order requirement types. And although this document is offered through the quick access window, the document itself may be physically stored somewhere else. For example, on the intra or internet, SharePoint, or any other document management system used within his own organization. In this case, Ben has never done this specific task before, or he has to take over a task for one of his colleagues. It may be comfortable for him to run through a small chunk of e-learning, do an exercise, or watch a short demo video. In this example, the Create Sales Order action is explained by means of a short interactive simulation. The feedback in the simulation indicates which action he needs to take to complete the task. If needed, Ben can also access the full e-learning course that he took a couple of weeks ago. If he wants to gain more insight into the underlying process of his task, he only needs to click on the process Sell from Stock in the Processes and Concepts category. The process view gives him insight into the business processes used by his organization, including an overview of the roles involved and links to relevant documentation. It is also possible to contact, for example, the help desk or a subject matter expert via email or another communication tool. And let's say the topics offered via the context-sensitive help were not what he was looking for. Using the full text search function, Ben can search the entire content library. And if unexpectedly nothing useful comes out of it, 
He can use the Quick Access Toolbar to request new content, or pass the search string to an external application such as SharePoint, Google, or for example, the Help Desk application used by his organization. Software in the cloud is updated more often than ever before. And in order to keep up with the release process, it is possible to use the Orange to notify the user of changes in SAP S4 HANA itself or the provision of new supporting documentation. For example, when activating the Create Sales Order application, via a Windows push notification, Ben is notified that a change has taken place in the Create Sales Order form. And finally, the Orange isn't just for providing support for SAP S4 HANA. The Orange can support the end user with any type of business applications and works cross application. Let's take a brief look at some examples. Example of Microsoft Outlook. The marketing department requested Ben to update his company's signature. Since this is not a daily task, Ben has forgotten how to do this. The Orange offers help. Example of PowerPoint. Ben needs to prepare a sales presentation with one of his colleagues. He uses the Orange to access a quick e-learning module on how to work with others in Microsoft in real time. Example of Salesforce. During a sales event, Ben collected a lot of valuable leads and now wants to bring them into Salesforce. And once again, he can get support at the moment of need from the Orange. This brings us to the end of this demo. Thank you for watching.